Stephen Wolf. I'm a managing partner and director at Myers Fulham. And today we're excited to show you a preview into the upcoming NSAW or NetSuite Analytics Warehouse, uh, the most advanced data management solution for companies that are using NetSuite uh, to be released on the market today. Um, just a brief overview on the content and the agenda for the demo. So first off, what is the NetSuite Analytics Warehouse? Um, what NetSuite has built and is now calling NSAW is the only out-of-box data warehouse and analytics platform to work with NetSuite. Uh, this tool combines two powerful Oracle technologies, OAC, or the Oracle Analytics Cloud, and ATW, the Autonomous Data Warehouse. And what this tool does is automatically uh, combine data, tune, scale, uh, and brings together multiple sources of data, including obviously your NetSuite data, but several other business systems, such as Salesforce, Shopify, um, and the like, to identify patterns and insights that help your business drive both growth and bottom line. The NetSuite Analytics Warehouse uh, is architected again using primarily OAC and Oracle's Autonomous Data Warehouse. Um, so what we've delivered out of the box with NSAW is a full integration with all of your NetSuite data through Suite Analytics Connect. So leveraging the existing NetSuite semantic model, all of the existing NetSuite data and content that you have today. But we're also pairing that with any custom content, custom semantic models that we develop for your Salesforce, Shopify, Stripe data, et cetera, and merging that all into a single custom schema and a single user interface to be able to support deep analytical insights, reporting and other approaches using combined data sources and building these reporting infrastructures um, uh, from data from multiple business applications. So for our clients, the key benefits of NSAW, first, that we're able now to provide clients with a very quick and prepackaged way to see a complete view of their company performance. So not, now, not only are you uh, looking at just NetSuite data and NetSuite, just Salesforce data and Salesforce, Shopify data and Shopify, but we're actually aggregating all of the data together from your various business applications and providing framework around a single reporting infrastructure that helps you see insights and, and drive decision-making across your organization. Uh, this tool uh, is another key benefit is that it's able to be very rapidly deployed. So rather than building a data warehouse or an analytical tool from scratch, we are going to be leveraging pre-built data objects and integrations with the business applications and systems that we're seeing our clients commonly use. Just like NetSuite, uh, NSAW gives the ability to have individual end users personalize their own dashboard respect uh, different permission sets and roles and data viewing restrictions so that uh, we can create multiple role-based views for different departments in the organization, different roles and stakeholders within your organization, uh, and provide uh, the propagation of key KPIs, reports, and visualizations to the right stakeholders and make it very easy for them to find the data that's important for their individual day-to-day. And I think most importantly with NSAW, we have a significantly improved analytical performance. So if you're a company that has uh, a long-term uh, database, uh, several years of high transactional volume data starting to now accumulate within your business applications, um, we're able to provide very fast and performant results in analytics with high, tra high volume transactional data sets um, as well as run complex calculations uh, with a lot more speed and efficiency than the pre-built analytical tools within your existing business applications today. Um, so we're excited to be able to uh, present this at Sweet World this year in 2021. And uh, what I'm going to do now is just switch over and I'll kick off a brief demo for you. So here we are on the home screen of the NetSuite Analytics Warehouse or NSAW. And again, just one more time, what this is is a packaging of Oracle's Autonomous Data Warehouse Cloud Database together with the Oracle Analytics Cloud BI tool or OAC and a data pipe to pull data from NetSuite on a regular schedule. Additional data can obviously be integrated from third-party systems. Like I mentioned earlier, Salesforce, Shopify, Stripe, Google Analytics. Uh, we're adding systems uh, as often as we can um, and we're excited to add more, but also data can be populated manually just from straight CSV file imports. 
And while this is the home screen today, quite vanilla for NSAW, this home screen can be customized by each user with their own preferred KPIs and other dashboards to make a custom dashboard. But for the purpose of the demo today, we'll take a brief look at DEX, KPIs, projects, data, and then we'll wrap all this up with a sample report that we use primarily for our retail customers. So the first thing that I'm going to load up today are our DEX. And DEX are collections of related KPIs or performance metrics. NSAW comes out of the box with a rich set of prepackaged KPIs grouped into DEX for analysis of business operations or your overall business performance. So out of the box today, you can see that I have a customer overview. And these are all prepackaged KPIs with NSAW. And I have some additional filters here shown at the top, like subsidiary, customer, time period. So you can interact with this deck, for example, a simple filter, just changing the time period from current quarter, maybe to current month. And I can apply that date change and see my KPIs recalculate just for all of the current month data. We can also drill down all the way into the detailed transactions or a detailed analysis from any of the KPIs. So once I'm viewing a KPI here, I can just click on the action button at the top right and click into sales order details as, as an example and see all of that raw data that's being leveraged to calculate the KPI that I'm currently looking at. And while I'm showing you a customer overview today, you also have in our prepackaged version of NSAW for retail and products industries, an item overview, and we're going to be adding other custom decks prepackaged in the months to come in upcoming releases. But what we will do also for our clients is generally add an additional custom KPIs um, based off of each of our clients individual requirements. So uh, as you can see here, in addition to the decks, uh, NSAW comes out of the box with a number of prepackaged KPIs, and there are more being rolled out in the offering every day, but it's also pretty easy to customize these KPIs and create your own from scratch. So in this case, I'll drill into my inventory turnover as of KPI. And what this does is it takes the product and average, uh, takes the product of the item average cost and the item quantity and divides this product by the total number of inventory count lines. So I can actually drill into that KPI calculation by going, expanding my calculation here, right clicking on inventory turnover, clicking edit, and I can see that actual calculation here and maybe amend or change if necessary. So, the way uh, that these calculations are being populated is from all of the data elements that are also being displayed on the top right within the inventory turnover or top left within the inventory turnover as of calculation. And you can see the subject areas listed here. And as I expand, you can see the data elements that may be leveraged in that calculation. So in a minute, we'll see how all of these subject areas are organized. But before we go there, let's look at projects. So projects are a catalog of folders and subfolders that we can organize to store reports and visualizations for our end users. And the way that we're deploying um, prepackaged information to NSAW is by uh, uh, adding that information into these shared folders. So you'll see our NetSuite folder with sales, inventory, and purchasing subfolders containing all of the prepackaged analytic content. And more prepackaged content will be added by both NetSuite, Myers Solo, and hopefully other partners with each NSAW release. So I'll drill into the prepackaged reports for sales analysis. Let's click on the sales order analysis project to open that up. And this project has, as you can see, five different visualizations on the first canvas. We have three KPI tiles, two bar charts, and there are also three additional canvas tabs that we've added with different ways of viewing the sales order data, summarized by period as the default, which would be our month in this case, a uh, quarter analysis and a year analysis. Within the sales order analysis, the data panel on the left shows the content of the sales order subject area from which all of this data being visualized has been selected. We can scroll up and down here to see all of the available data groupings and just expand each grouping to see the data elements that have been selected. We can also create custom calculations to display within this analysis using any of the data elements above in arithmetic formulas. And these can also be leveraged applying a rich predefined set of analytic functions, which we'll get into in a later demo. 
In addition to those tools, we have the visualization type pull down showing a menu of all of the standard visualization types that are available in NSAW. Um, various bar, line, pie charts, tables, pivot tables, and other advanced visualizations are available just out of the box. So we'll create a new visualization from scratch in just a few minutes. But if I do want to quickly change a visualization within one of my KPI tiles, I can click in here and have any one of these uh, data visualization elements available. So if I want to change that to a stacked bar chart, I can do so for each of these KPI tiles here and see that data visualization populate in real time. So I'm going to exit out of uh, our sales order analysis here. And we'll go back and view our uh, data subject areas. So out of the box with NetSuite integration, we have about 40 subject areas corresponding to all of the most commonly used NetSuite transaction types. As we integrate with other business applications in our core package, you'll see those uh, data subject areas start to populate automatically as well. Let's scroll down and click on the sales order subject area to create a new project from this data. A new project now that I've clicked on our sales order subject area to start is created with a blank canvas and the sales order subject area is displayed at the left. We can select any data that we want to visualize from the available list here. So what I'm going to do for the demo today is create a retail calendar date range sales and profitability report. And that's been a big challenge for our NetSuite customers, given that NetSuite doesn't natively contain both the retail calendar overlaid on top of a customer's standard Gregorian calendar. So what I'm going to do is add some of our retail calendar fields. And I'm just going to go in here and expand my column so I can see. And I'm going to add my retail year, my retail quarter, my retail period, and my retail week. You'll see that as soon as I add these data elements, it defaults to creating a simple tabular display. These retail calendar fields, again, by the way, don't exist natively in NetSuite. We've added these as an extension to the NetSuite fiscal calendar in order to support our clients with analytics on a retail calendar. So let's scroll down to the sales order facts transaction line and let's get some amount fields in here. So again, I'll expand my columns. And notice there are different data groupings for different currencies we might be using, but we're gonna use our analytics uh, currency amounts. And for kind of a simple retail date range reporting, I'm going to bring in line amount. I'm gonna bring in gross profit. And I'm gonna bring in cost estimate. So now let's change our visualization type to a stacked bar, which I think is going to be more relevant to the data that we're looking at. And notice for this visualization type, I think it wants values like dollar amounts selected on the Y axis and categories like time slices selected on the X axis. So let's change the way that, is, that this data is displayed to make it a little bit more meaningful. So we've selected the three amount fields as the Y axis. Now I see that there's some grouping of the years here that I have on my X axis. So let's just move the retail year to our trellis rows. So now we can see our year over year sales cost estimate and gross profit estimate data stacked by retail calendar week period and uh, organized by year. And let's take the rest of these x-axis values, and I think I'd like to see them in trellis columns. So now what I'm seeing is year-over-year -year stack data by our retail quarter, by our retail period, 
and then buyer retail week. Now, obviously the test data that I have with the NetSuite is a little sparse, but let's zoom in to a relevant date range so that I can view some real year over year reporting. So what I'm gonna do now is just drag my retail year into my filter section here at the top. I'm not interested in seeing 2022 or 2019. So I'll just select 2020 and 2021. And that's giving me a nicer year over year look of my retail data, my sales cost estimate and reporting information organized this way. But I wanna see 2021 on the top above 2020. So let's just sort my trellis rows Z to A. So I can see 2021 here on the top over my last year historical data. And I think what I wanna do now, instead of having uh, to scroll is just narrow in on let's say periods seven, eight, and nine. So I'm also gonna drag my retail period up into the filter section here. And I'm just gonna select period seven, eight, and nine for my current view. And now I've got a great concise view of my year over year sales and margin reporting all organized in a retail calendar. So once we're done with creating this visualization, all we have to do now is save the visualization project by clicking on the disk icon at the upper right. And I'll save a new uh, visualization here and I'll just call it Stevens year over year retail calendar sales and margin. So this has been a really quick look at the end user analytic capabilities of NSAW. Obviously, there are many more features of NSAW that we didn't cover in this brief demonstration. But my hope is that for an end user, you're able to see today how powerful NSAW will be for our NetSuite customers, how it allows us to manipulate data in ways that just aren't attainable by the out of the box uh, reporting and, and analytical capabilities within the business applications that we're using today. And I just wanted to wrap up by saying that all of us at Myers Holm are extremely excited to start deploying NSAW in our customer environments to help them aggregate data from all of their multiple sources and really uh, gain that analytic capability that we think will be paramount in helping them drive their top line growth and maintain their bottom line as well. So thanks so much for your time today. If you have any other questions uh, or want to uh, uh, meet with any of us at Myers Solom one-on-one -on -one to review the work that we're doing with NSAW, please feel free to reach out to the contact information at the end of the slide. We look forward to meeting you all at Sweet World this year and hopefully becoming a partner to you all in the future. Thanks.